to all of our viewers and welcome to VPC Live, Distance Learning Edition. I'm your host, Victoria Wolf Anderson, bringing you the most trending topics from the comfort of my own home. It's November 19th as of this being filmed, and let's start today's show. It's been a while since we've last talked to you viewers, and boy, has a lot happened. Hybrid learning got pushed back to late January. Joseph Biden was announced the president-elect. We've surpassed daily records for COVID-19 cases and deaths previously set in May or June, and we experienced a tornado warning just this past weekend. Looks like we still have more to catch you guys up on. So let's get into today's student announcements with Shreya. Hi, I'm Shreya Jawa that I'm reporting to you the student announcements of DHS. Even though distance learning is still in motion, it seems DHS students have plenty to do. Clubs like Model United Nations, National English Honor Society, National Math Honor Society, IOT, and of course, Video Production Club are all looking for new members. Please review the student announcements for more details. Next week is Thanksgiving break, which means Thursday and Friday are off. However, continue to bring the school spirit in the beginning of the week as Spirit Week lasts from November 23rd to 25th this year. Monday is Jersey Day, Tuesday's Twin Day, and Wednesday's Blue and Orange Day. On Tuesday, be sure to wear pink if you're a freshman, purple if you're a sophomore, green if you're a junior, and black if you're a senior. On Wednesday, proudly display our school colors. Tweet your photos to the BOG for a chance to win a prize, and email your photos to porcet at danbury.k12.ct.us for a chance to be featured in the yearbook. Finally, quarter one grades are finalized today, so please make sure to check your power school to ensure that everything is in order. That's all the announcements for today. Hi, my name is Justin Barlin, and we have two topics today. One of them is the release of the PlayStation 5, or in short, the PS5. The PS5 is a gaming console where you can purchase games and play by yourself, multiplayer, or online with family and friends. The PS5 comes out on November 12th. If you plan on purchasing the PS5, you should pre-order it because not many stores like Walmart and Best Buy are, are going to have the PS5 in stock. If you decide to order the PS5 online, you should do it fast because it's probably going to sell out quickly. The second topic today is another new gaming console, the Xbox Series X. The Xbox Series X has a lot of similarities to the PS5, so just like the PS5, you can play by yourself or family and friends. The Xbox Series X comes out two days before the PS5 on November 10th, so again, make sure you pre-order it or order it the day it comes out. These two consoles make excellent birthday gifts and holiday gifts. Thank you for watching and have a good day. I'm Shira John Lagada, and today's topic is SpaceX's most recent satellite launch. On November 5th, 2020, SpaceX launched an advanced GPS satellite, the third one of its kind. Although the rocket had engine problems in previous months, it lifted off using 1.7 million pounds of thrust at Cape Canaveral, Florida. The rocket Falcon 9 is 70 meters tall and is known for its reusable first stage boosters. After a successful launch, the first stage booster landed in the Atlantic Ocean, approximately 400 miles south of Cape Canaveral. GPS satellites are used by mo both common people as well as the military. They're used for location purposes such as cab services, Google Maps, and finding lost devices. The new generation for GPS tracking will be more accurate and effective. This GPS satellite was launched mainly for the U.S. Space Force. In August, SpaceX accepted a deal with the Department of Defense to launch more rockets for the Space Force as a part of a billion-dollar agreement. This was followed by a $149 million agreement with the Pentagon to build missile tracking satellites and also to build a rocket to deliver cargo to anywhere in the world in just one hour. According to Space.com, this flight marks SpaceX's 20th mission of the year. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Enigma News. Welcome back to Breaking News. Today's topic is Hurricane Ada. The fifth major hurricane and most powerful tropical cyclone active in 2020 is Hurricane Ada. This hurricane originated in a tropical wave in the Eastern Korean Sea that ended up developing into a tropical depression. Ada remained in Category 4 in strength and made its way to the south, hitting the Karawa and Puerto Cabezas. However, those weren't the only places that the hurricane hit. It also impacted Panama, Costa Rica, and El Salvador. Shelters were immediately set up as the hurricane brought heavy rain, mass floodings, landslides, and mudslides. And the usual with a hurricane, wind, and a storm. Warnings were issued November 1st when experts and scientists saw that the hurricane was forming. As of right now, experts and scientists are both looking to see if Ada survives 
as it makes its way through the Central America and back into the Caribbean. For now, we'll just have to wait and see what the rest of the storm Ada has to offer. Okay, today I will be talking about the Teofimo and Lomachenko fight and also the Javante Davis and um, Leo Santa Cruz fight. Um, the Teofimo and Lomachenko fight happened about a month and a half ago. Um, the outcome of the fight, um, Teofimo won the fight, got all four lightweight division championship belts. Uh, Lomachenko was the current holder of all four belts. Teofimo beat him and they're comparing the fights and I'm comparing the fights on which one was better and which one will affect the legacy even more. Uh, to be honest, in my opinion, Javante Davis did have a round six KO against Leo Santa Cruz. Leo Santa Cruz is one of the best in his division. His record is like 37 and one and one tie. After that loss, he's 37 and two against Javante Davis. Um, the, the punch was clean. The uppercut was very, it was anticipated. He caught him in the, in the overhand. So it was a very good high IQ punch. Uh, Teofimo Lopez, he did have more of a legacy fight, I guess you can say, because now he's the king of the division. And Javante Davis is kind of trying to be like the king as well. Um, I would say they're both kings in their own rights, but if I had to choose which one was better and which one I would rather watch again, it would definitely be the Teofimo and the uh, Lomachenko fight. And reason why is because it was just such a great fight. Teofimo fought hard and fought for what he deserves and what he has now. Uh, Tank did have a great fight, great knockout by Tank. It definitely gave him more momentum to have that fight against Teofimo, but if I had to choose which fight I would rather watch, again, it would definitely be the Teofimo and Lomachenko fight. And that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoy the news. I'm out. We're wrapping up today, but before we go, I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving, if you celebrate. Please make sure to participate in safe festivities and try to connect with your extended family over Zoom. It makes all the difference. I'll see you all next week, so stay tuned for the not-quite-so-live BBC Live.